Okay, the first thing we're going to be doing is looking for an image that we're going to be referencing. So you can go into this website, it's great. So you're going to look for uh, an animal that has a picture from the side because you're looking for a reference image. So once you find a picture you like, you open up your snipping tool and then you new, a new image. You select what you want, make sure it's nice and from the side so you can see it really well so you can use this as a reference. Do a save as, and then look for a place to put it. If you need to, you can start a new folder. I'm putting this in my pictures so that I know where it is. Doing a new folder, I'm going to call the folder reference images. So when I go to open it up in Blender, I can find it. Then I'm going to name it. I call this dog. We'll do these from the side and make sure that it is a JPEG. Right? Save. So now I have this image that I'm going to use as a reference image to make my animal. If there are other images that you like, you can actually reference one from the front. If you have a nice one of something from the front and you want to add that also, you can. I'm not going to for this demo, but you definitely can. Uh, feel free to look back and forth at that site also to know what your animal looks like. I'm now going to be putting this in. So I'm opening up as a reference image. I'm finding out. I know I put it in my pictures. And I know I put it in, in that folder. So I'm opening that up. Right? And now notice I notice I just popped it in which way. And now the, the reference image is not straight. You have to make sure that you're on an axis. You want the negative Y in front of you. That's the front. So you want it to be nice and flat. So I'm going to do it again. Open up a reference image. And now when I put it in, it's not at a funky angle, but it's nice and straight. Okay, so now I need to lift it up so his, their feet are standing on the line. And then I'm going to move it back. So G for grab. I'm going to grab it along the Y axis. So I do G, Y. Make sure it's nice and parallel. All right, I don't need that box anymore. I'm going to get rid of that box. So now I'm going to start making my blender version of this animal. I'm going to start off. I'm going to make a circle. And if it's while it's still live, you can change the segments. I'm taking the segments to eight. Right? But if you do it, you can't go back and change it once you've let go of it. So make sure that you do that after you put the circle down, make sure you immediately change it. Okay, now I'm going to be rotating it. For my purposes, I'll be rotating it on this axis so that it's parallel. It depends upon where you put your your um, your reference image. So this is going to be parallel. I'm not going to move it up because this is going to be the start of my animal. So I'm going to move it up so that it's kind of on his stomach. I'm going to scale it down a little bit so that it... I'm going to scale it and move it so that it is in a good starting spot the way I like it. So I'm now, I'm still in an object mode for all of this. I'm going to start it. I think I'm going to start my model here. So I'll drop it. It's still a little bit big, so I have to scale it down. Okay, so now I have that where I want it. Now I'm going to go into edit mode. And put it from the front. So now what I need to do is take off half those vertices because I'm going to be using a mirror modifier. So I'm going to take out half those vertices. I'm going to delete them. I chose them, and I'm going to delete them. Right, so now I have a half of a circle. So I have four segments. I'm putting on my mirror modifier, and I'm going to just make sure that it is in the right. It's, again, this depends upon which axis you're putting yours in, X or Y. Make sure clipping is on for this. Clipping has to be on for this, or else when you do it, it's going to over the sides are going to overlap. So clipping is important for this part. So now I'm just going to go through, and I am going to just follow along with the dog. So I select it. I'm in edit mode. I do E for extrude. I'm going to be basically doing extruding. So E for extrude. And then I'm going to, as I need to, I'm going to press G to grab it. So it's kind of going along. And if it's too small or too big, I use the S for scale. And then E for extrude. 
and then I kind of move it around, scaling it, moving it, extruding it as I need to. So to make the next section, you have to press E to extrude. And then it's just a matter of putting it where you want it. So you're extruding. It gets a little fiddly. This, this part will take some time to really kind of get it so it's lined up properly. You also can rotate it if you press R. You can rotate, which I'll be doing up close to, to the neck, just to keep that tube moving along the body of the animal that you're making. And a good way to do this, if, if you're going to be scaling it, try to put it to the center. When you move it, move it to the center so when you scale it, it'll scale proportionally in both directions. If you have it so it's lined up at the top and then press scale, then it's going to get a little wonky. So do the best you can with this and move it all the way across your animal. So you're not going to be putting the leg in now. The leg is going to be put in separate. The legs are separate. The ears are separate. And the tail is separate. That we're going to do, you have to turn off clipping to do that. So that's going to be a whole different thing. So you're just going to do the main body. Again, here I'm rotating and pulling it up. You really want to keep that, that active. But if for some reason you lose your active plane, you can go back and pick it again. So just make sure that is active, which you want it to be active. If you, if you start individually moving around the vertices at this point, you will get yourself into trouble because they won't, because the extrusion won't work for you. So as you get towards the head, it's going to take a little bit more thinking and doing. All right, just keep moving it along. Keep rotating it. Keep scaling it. Keep extruding it. Again, the, the, the more detail, the more fiddly this gets. Okay, I'm actually, I'm putting this into x-ray mode. I turn that on so I can see what's happening behind it because I, I need that little extra information. As you can see, you don't need to that. You can kind of, as long as you're staying inside the lines, so you're coloring in the lines, it's not that necessary. But again, extruding, rotating, scaling. When I rotate, I do give it an access. I press R and I put, and I'm doing it on the, um, on the y-axis, again, depends upon how you're doing yours. But when you when you rotate and when you're, you definitely want to make sure that you are saying what axis you're on so it doesn't kind of fly in the middle of nowhere. So this part is getting a little trickier. Again, I'm continuing to just E for extrude. S for scale to make it smaller, and if I need to move it around, I press G. Okay, for this demo, I'm only going to show you this part of it. I'm not going to do the back half of the dog. All right, so that, that looks good. Happy with that. Now let's, let's take off X-ray and see what it looks like. Okay, so there it is because it's in mirror, so both sides have been done. So looking from the front, so it looks a little fat to me. So I, with my vertices option, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to thin it out just a little bit. So I'm going to just choose kind of half of it. Again, G for grab, and I'll be moving it in the Y direction just to thin it up a little bit. I think this dog's probably a lot thinner than that. So I started off with a circle. All right. That looks decent. Okay. So that hole right there, we're going to fix that up at the end of the, um, when we're done with the mirroring and we have it actually when we apply the modifier. Okay. So now we're going to deal with making the legs. Okay. So for this part, you want to turn off clipping, definitely turn off clipping. And then we're going to just start just choose one of the planes to start with, right? So now you see they're having two legs. If, but I would like to straighten that out just a little bit. So the way I'm doing this is I'm just taking that and I'm pressing rotate and I'm making it so it's flat. I'm just going to rotate that out so that when I pull the leg down, the leg's going down. It's not going out to the side. 
Okay, so now I'm going to continue with, actually I'm going to pull this out because the legs, I don't want the legs to kind of come out from the sides. I want it to look like it's coming right down from the main body. So I'm choosing that one line, right? And then I grabbed it in the right direction. So now that's not, it's not like we're going in, it's going flat down. You can choose any of those lines at any point and manipulate them as you want to. So now I'm grabbing that face. And now I'm going to just make the leg just like I made the rest of the dog body. I'm going to make it x-ray so I can see what I'm doing a little bit better. And I'm just going to pull it down to exactly the same way that I did on the dog body. If I just E for extrude, G for grab, R for rotate is needed. Again, anytime I'm rotating, I'm making sure that I'm telling it what axis to do it on. And that depends upon really where I am in the model. I'm just going to come down and finish up his leg a little bit. I'm going to keep it going. Again, as we get to the more detail to the end, it gets a little more fiddly. Okay, kind of like that. That looks good. And then I'm going to just scale that up and move that over. Okay, good enough. Got two legs, nice space between them. Happy with that. Now we're gonna move on to figure out how to do the ears. So again, we're gonna make sure we're looking at the reference, get ourselves kind of lined up. Decide whether we want to do x-ray or not x-ray. So at this point, I'm choosing that, probably about where I want to put it, but let's just kind of double check on that one. Remember, you can always add loops if you need to, to kind of figure out exactly where you want to do this. Okay, so let's have a look. All right, so looking at the reference, I want it sort of, in this area right here. So I'm going to choose the faces that I'm going to be extruding. Again, you, if you need to add more loop cuts, if you need to add something else, go right ahead and do that. As you need to, this does get a little trickier the more detail you're getting. So thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually choose a couple of faces on the top. Right, but I need to subdivide those a little bit. So I'm going to right click subdivide. And again, once it's active, you can decide how many, how many subdivisions you want. I only need one subdivision. It's kind of want to break those faces down a little bit so that I can get a smaller area for the ears so there's space between them. And I can, if I grab a line and GG it, I can slide it. So I can get exactly where I want. So I've subdivided those faces and I've moved the line. So everything's kind of lined up. So now I can choose those faces that I want, now that I've kind of decided exactly where they are and create those faces for myself and subdivided them, I'm going to extrude them up. And now I'm going to need to, uh, like I did before, I'm going to scale it down, kind of get the point of the ear. And I'm probably going to need to grab it. So G, to make sure I have the right thing selected. I'm going to grab it over so it's kind of at an angle. Then I feel like I need to have a Throw another loop cut in there. I'm going to put a loop cut in there. Again, I can grab it and I can move it. I can do G and kind of move it over so that it is exactly where I want it. Yeah, so the ear's not quite straight up and down, a little more realistic, a little bit of a floppy ear. Yeah, I think that looks decent. Got some ears on the dog now. Okay, so now you can look at it all the way around. Now I'm going to think about actually kind of finishing this up a little bit. Okay, let's say that you have your model, you've done all you want with the mirroring, you've got your ears, but now you're looking at it and there are some places that have some holes in it or there's some stuff that you kind of want to do, right? So you're going to go into, you're going to apply your modifier. So once you apply your mirror modifier, right, make sure you're in object mode, click choose, find your mirror modifier and apply it. That means that it's no longer a mirror modifier. Now you've just made a model 
that happens to be symmetrical on each side because you can made it using the mirror modifier. But as you can see, I can move one side of it, it doesn't move the other side. So at this point, if you want to move the feet, make things look a little different, a little asymmetric, you do that afterwards. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to fill up this hole. You could have also done it while you were in the doing the mirror, but I kind of like to do it like this a little bit better. So I'm choosing all my edges. And then I'm going to extrude just a teeny amount so that I have a new face that I'm working with. And then I scale that in to kind of hold, close up the hole. So S for scale. So that's one way to do it. There are other ways to do it, but this is how I'm doing it on this model. So now I don't have a hole in the nose. I could go in there and make more details if I wanted to make the, you know, go in there and kind of play with it so that the nose looks the way I like it. Okay, and that's how you're going to make an animal using a reference image.